Hi, this is Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar here at HealthyPlace.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about bipolar disorder with comorbid conditions. So that is bipolar disorder with co-occurring disorders. That is disorders that occur alongside the bipolar disorder. Now in bipolar disorder, comorbid conditions are actually the rule and not the exception. It's very common for people with bipolar disorder to be diagnosed with multiple psychiatric disorders or multiple health concerns. So some of these comorbid conditions are psychiatric and some are not. So what we see commonly in non-psychiatric conditions include migraines, actually very common in bipolar disorder, also thyroid disorders, and some studies have shown dementia. Additionally, there are some health concerns that may be influenced by the kind of medications that we take in bipolar disorder. So some of these health concerns include arterial hypertension, obesity, metabolic syndrome, tremors, and other movement disorders. And while I can't say that there's any medication treatment that would actually cause any of those disorders, what I can say is that medication treatment can complicate the treatment of those particular disorders and possibly worsen them. We also commonly see comorbid psychiatric conditions. It's actually very common for people with bipolar disorder to also have an anxiety disorder. That's not surprising, considering anxiety disorders are actually the most common type of mental illness. Specifically, bipolar disorder and OCD may have common genetic roots. It's also very common for people with bipolar disorder to be diagnosed with ADHD. And probably one of the most common co-occurring disorders with bipolar is actually a substance use disorder. So unfortunately, it's very common in the bipolar community to see people with addiction issues. These co-occurring disorders are actually really critical to bipolar disorder treatment because some studies have shown that the more the co-occurring disorders exist, the worse the illness is, the worse the course of treatment is, the earlier the onset of illness is, and the more severe the illness is. So these comorbid conditions must be diagnosed and they must be dealt with in order for bipolar disorder to be successfully treated. So for example, if you do have a substance use issue, it's very difficult to successfully treat you without first dealing with that substance abuse issue. I would argue that if you continue abusing a substance, it would be almost impossible to successfully treat you if you had bipolar disorder. So if you feel that you have a comorbid disorder of any type, it's really critical to bring that up with your doctor because it will affect treatment and it can possibly affect the effectiveness of treatment, which of course is something that we're all concerned about. I'm Natasha Tracy and this is Breaking Bipolar.